all right so here we have the ktm 1290 adventure r and uh, i'm in front of orange county at this point in time which have been kind enough to lend me the bike to ride and test drive and give my personal opinion about it so uh, they've got anarchy adventure tires on here which is like dual purpose tires for on-road and off-road and then we also have the twin 320 millimeter brembo brakes come standard with the bike it's chain drived it does have a non-standard exhaust on a kraprovic so that's going to sound nice and beefy and it's generally from the looks of the bike it uh, it is a nice bike i'll be honest about that it's styled nice i like the orange colors i like the color offset between the white and the black and the orange so that does look nice this is my first ride on this bike so um we'll see how that goes so it's high i'll give it that play around with it a bit this is a higher bike than mine for for sure so switching on the bike ready to race that's quite nice let's give it a start shall we oh that sounds nice and beefy all right so this is chain driven just waiting for the traffic to pass here and then uh, we'll take it out for a ride Ooh, the clutch is like that takes some getting used to because this is completely the throttle is the throttle is responsive the clutch is very responsive let's learn it out some bit oh uh, well for a 220 to 29 kg bike it's actually very nimble That's the claimed weight for the bike. This one's got a 23 litre tank on it. That sounds flipping awesome with that exhaust on it. Slip on sounds really nice. It's a 1300 V twin motor. So the owner of the store says that uh, the bike is still running in, it's still without, under a thousand kilometers, so not expecting anything crazy. On the so the digital display on this bike is quite, oh that's quite nice. That seems to be fairly accurate, which I like. Mirrors are nice on the bike, I do say they give nice field of view. The rest are nice, they feel nice and big underneath your feet. It cycles nicely through the gears. Bumps are not killing my butt. So the suspension can be set stiffer or less stiff, which is obviously a good thing, especially for, I believe, the guys doing off-road. You're going to want a bit of more travel. So I don't know if that comes standard with this, but I think he might have added self-cancellation in. As you can see, the indicator just went back off again. This bike is quite high for me, I'll be very honest with that. 
I'm 173 and I know the rider of this bike is also 173 so that is a bit high for me I'm tippy towing this thing Acceleration on this thing is crazy. Sounds nice. Those Brembo front brakes doing well. It's got ABS. It's got all those modes that you can select which I'm not going to fidget around with but it has got road, it's got racing, it's got uh, off-road settings as well which then uh, takes away some of the power I think Comfortable ride. The seat is nice. It's got cruise control on as well, like you can see over there. I'm having to put both feet down to keep the bike upright. <laughs> oh well. The hazards of being short. That slip on just makes it sound beefy. It's 29 degrees outside. It's a lovely day. We had some awesome rain yesterday. It was pouring. It had like a storm here. I'm gonna drive it a bit out of town so that we can get a better feel for the bike I hope there's not too much wind noise guys obviously the higher speeds we'll get the more wind noise we're gonna get so uh, yeah let's hope we don't get too much of that but the overall view of the bike is that uh, it's keyless as you can see so it's got a box where you store the key or you can put it in your pocket obviously the headlights are on full headlights so just dim them it was on bright trying to keep to the speed limit which is like 60 kilometers an hour yeah but uh, with bikes those are always difficult to do because it's riding nice noise the shifts are very smooth on the bike got no issue finding gears with it stopping is also very nice a V8 by turbo my word that is a a rather large vehicle oh, it's noise I love Mercedes styling CLS 500 that's a big boy I'm not gonna race with this bike resist the urge <laughs> Resist the urge. It's a review, guys. It's a review, not a race. So 
so on torque this thing handles like expected I mean there's no fuss no thrills it's just nice driving in town some fellow riders how do you do so it gives us trip information how many fuel is burning per hundred kilometers how many cases bike has done so it's 944 kilometers i don't know if you can see that battery is nicely charged 14.3 volts pressure on the front tire that's actually quite nice it shows you the pressure on the front tire oh, 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 oh. now testing the brakes this thing comes to a nice stop eh? abs working nicely there uh, rear pressure is 2.14 and the front was 2.12 so that differs obviously as you ride with the bike fuel range is showing 270 kilometers the range that we've got on this uh, the temperature has dropped down to 24 that's obviously due to riding sensor air goes over the sensor cools it down a bit it's nice abs road Oh, it sounds nice. So the speed limit is still 60 here. Yeah? As soon as we get about out of it, you can see what it's like uh, at speed. Once again, I'd like to thank the guys at Orange County for allowing me to uh, ride the bike and review it. And uh, as some of the viewers has uh, wanted me to test drive this specific uh, bike, I'm following your advice and I've taken it for a ride. And uh, I'll give you my honest opinions as much as I can about it with some technical specs along the way. All right, from here we go 80. Picks up nicely, picks up quickly. six-speed gearbox on this boy the wind the wind factor standing up uh, not that bad it's obviously got a short screen on it not a touring screen as those would be obviously longer but uh, the wind pressure on the chest is not that bad. Those are some big silos. Nice stretch of road. Nice and straight and green over here. Oh, look at the horses. Hello, boys. Well, girls. So now obviously uh, the engine uh, is dampened a bit by the noise of the wind. And we'll see how bad the, the wind noise is on the camera. As I said, it's uh, a new experience to me, riding with the microphone. But it feels nice just to ride. The bike seating is comfortable, you know, long distance, you want a touring bike that's obviously not going to impact your behind. <clears throat> but I uh, think that if you would buy a, a motorcycle like this, you're going to want to spend equally as much time on the road as you are going to be doing off the road. You can open up to 100 k's now. Fifth, changing to six, doing 120 k's an hour now. 
it's still very comfortable. I can definitely feel the wind a bit more now. So uh, it would be, uh, I think, nice to just have that touring screen on. But here, over here, there's no wind here, which is cool. The wind is all being deflected over me, even with the shorter screen on. Nice designing there of the screen. I can still hear that Akaprovic growling at me here from the back. That's nice. I definitely have to consider buying me one of those slip-ons. That goes nice, eh? That goes nice. If you haven't ridden one of these yet, go take it for a ride. See what you think of it yourself. I know the guys are all biased about bikes. And uh, you've got your KTM lovers, you've got your BMW lovers, you've got your Honda lovers. There's a whole bunch of bikes out there. In my personal opinion, you know, Harley, Indian, these are bikes I want to go ride. I want to give my personal opinion about them. I like this bike. Bumps didn't feel anything there. Even if the suspension is set to stiff. Go a bit to 140. See how that is. Four and a half thousand RPMs at 140 kilometers an hour. Slowing down to 120 again. The brakes work nicely. Actually, we're in luck. We found a bit of dirt road. And self-cancellation obviously turns that off. Right, so before we head to this dirt road here, let's stop here and see how easy it is to uh, get the bike into neutral. That's it, it's in neutral. Now, let's see if we want to do... That's the ABS. So let's go back. So pushing the button up, that gives us the menu there. So let's, it's actually quite nice. Set it to off-road, close throttle. It's set into off-road now. Right is off-road, as we're gonna do a bit of dirt roading here. And let's go out of the menu. All right. Those Anarchy Adventure tires are doing quite nicely, just right off the go. Obviously feeling those bumps, but I'm not feeling that I'm losing control of the bike. Nice and wet over here. We had some decent rain, and you can clearly see that. This is going to feel right, standing up. Nice, nice. Handles well. I'm not going to dirty the man's bike up. So we're going to avoid the... Oh, 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 a bit of slippy there. I am going to dirty the man's bike up a bit. Well, that handled well through there. You can feel, obviously, it's a bit squirrely. But uh, at no point did I feel that I was going to lose the bike or lose control of it, which I'm nice and happy about. Sorry, it's gonna get dirty, but it's off-road and you can hear that tire at the back losing some traction. Squirly, 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 squirly through here. Handling it all right. As I ride back, you'll see the squirliness. 
sorry about getting it dirty. And a bit of mud. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So most of the time, the guys that I had adventure, you don't want your butt to split on the dirt. Just avoid those big ones there. Eh? Alright, that's getting ugly there. Squirrel is hell. It's making me work, yeah. Squilly, 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 squilly. Obviously, I'm driving in those tracks there. Eh? I'm not a professional dirt bike rider, guys. I've never mentioned that I am. <laughs> I'm nervous because it's obviously a lone bike and I don't want to bugger the thing up. If you buy it and you fall it, that's a different story because then it's yours it doesn't look by the track it doesn't look too squirrely through here yeah? but whoa, I wouldn't risk that on another guy's bike there's a bit of a, a slap on it I don't know maybe that's I don't know there you can see where I drove yeah Doesn't look too squirrely, eh? Ah, not that much squirrely through there. So it's obviously dual purpose tires that's on here. That's not off road tires. Hence the traction loss a bit there. doesn't slip that much I just think it might be the inexperienced rider I know there's a lot of people that are much more experienced than what I am but as I said I'm giving you my personal riding experience on the bike this is a 1290 Adventure R or basically a 1300 V twin So it is the biggest bike I've ever ridden. And it has been raining quite a lot, so not the best conditions. And you obviously don't go quickly through the dirt and especially the mud like I did. But I wanted to test it out for myself. There's obviously a lot of bounciness. All right, so what we're going to do is, let's stop right here. Let's review what we've seen thus far of the bike. And now it sounds so we've gotten a bit of mud on the bike we took the dirt road down a bit having an overview it's got a bit of mud on it now listen to that uh, exhaust over there mm, that does sound nice definitely have to get me one of those frontal view of the bike main beams are on bikes appearance is nice this is a very unique design obviously when you design bikes I believe the guys that design them have to stand out from the others hence the reason why this thing is designed so uniquely LED indicators almost looks like bog busters It really is a nice bike. Super Adventure R. You can see the suspension over there. Stiffer or less stiff. So it's got the hook-ons here for your luggage. Over there. 
laptop box if you want the seat I'm not sure if this is uh, the standard seat that comes with the bike but uh, it's it sits nicely Another riders how you doing guys some mollies what a bit of bugs probably from me now right so that was a dead road experience let's get that back to the shop all right now before we get it back to the shop obviously we had it set to off-road let's set it back to street again which is actually nice and easy there we go we're back into street mode go press the up go to off-road and then it selects off-road again that's quite easy it's easy to do quick menu I can see the appeal for the motorcycle that's why obviously this has gained a lot of popularity amongst riders hello Moomoos so obviously if you're a novice rider and uh, I am still, an, I consider myself a novice rider, I'm definitely no professional and uh, neither on-road nor off-road so I'm doing this for the novice guys, I think that's what I'm actually trying to say I definitely consider myself a novice, I mean I've been riding bike now for full time I've been riding motorcycle for about four years so um, yeah, to me I'm still a novice, there's guys that have been riding out there a lot longer than what I have and uh, they consider themselves obviously much more qualified off-road and on the road which is obviously for a good reason if you've been riding bikes for years you can consider yourself skilled in the art that cycles down nicely on the gears listen to that engine bike has got nice road presence as well road presence to me is important for one simple fact uh, if the vehicles don't see you you down underneath the vehicle on the tarmac I knew he was going to do that, hence why I didn't try and lane filter or something. I mean, even in fifth gear, It's got acceleration, it's got, it's got power. Look, there's no doubt about it. This thing is definitely not lacking power. None whatsoever. It's got the power, Captain. It definitely does. There's a bit of travel, obviously the front suspension is not set stiff That's why it dips down a bit when I brake Obviously I'm not the lightest guy on earth as well So the handling, oh it's, it's got nice, it feels nice doing that eh? I mean no issues with it, the bike responds well Definitely I really do hope that the audio is quite clear on this thing 
and that we indeed do get some nice sounds out of it. Didn't auto cancel there. I also promised uh, management that I have this bike back by 12. I'm on time. Thanks for allowing me, uh, Orange County, to uh, once again test drive the bike. It's been an awesome experience. I've enjoyed it quite a lot. My personal review of the 1290 Adventure R It's a good bike It rides nice Obviously no fuss, no frills with the bike today Just nice riding No freaky deaky stuff Maybe it's working nicely. He's having fun. That's why I kept my mouth shut. So you could hear him. Self cancellation doesn't work to the right. And I am leaning it though. We got to do with the. No, it does not. I'm going to sneak past him here. Well, the bike fits nicely there. Nice. took a bit longer to get in there right that's the off button there we go and that switches off the bike there with the key there we go right so uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching once again thanks to Orange County for allowing me the opportunity to ride the awesome bike I enjoyed that fairly much there were moments where I could feel that this thing it has power it's a nice bike, and I do enjoy it. Well, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Remember to uh, like and subscribe.